Hey guys, so you may notice that I don't have any makeup on, which is obviously a big deal because most women don't like to go out with any makeup on. Um, but today I decided that it is fall time. It's, it's getting towards fall, a new season, and we want to start doing something a little bit different with our makeup. So today I'm going to be doing my first tutorial. I'm going to show you a nice bronze kind of copper fall look. So enjoy guys! So first I'm going to start off with my complexion makeup. The first thing I'm going to be using today is the Makeup Forever HD Micro um, Primer. It's one of my favorites. It's very pore minimizing and if you have any fine lines or wrinkles it also will get rid of that. It's also going to even out your skin tone and really give you that flawless look you're looking for. So be, be kind of gentle on your face but you only need a small dime size for your... For your entire face. Okay. Then the next thing I'll be using is the Sephora Collection Tinted Moisturizer. Now this isn't in place of a foundation. I just like to use it because it does have SPF in it. So, and my shade is medium camel. Do about two pumps for my whole face. And normally I would say use a brush if you wanted to. But when it comes to the tinted moisturizer and the primer, I really like to put it on with my hands. I just make sure that I've really, really washed my hands so that none of the oils get onto my face. So already you see with the tinted moisturizer and the primer that my skin tone's already looking a little bit better. All right. Next, I'm going to do the also Makeup Forever. As you can see, it's there we go. It's one of my favorite lines. Um, this is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet. It gives you a shine-free, completely matte look. It's no, not a satin look like most foundations would be. And my shade is number 30. So with this, I actually like to put a small, ooh, if I can get it to come out, a small amount on my hand like that. Then I'm going to take the Sephora Collection, the number 111. It's a natural foundation brush. It's just very dense and it has a high bristle count, but it's kind of fluffy to give you kind of an airbrushed natural look. And I'm going to kind of look off um, the distance because I do have a mirror behind me because it kind of is hard to do. Now normally uh, before I did this foundation if I wanted more of a super flawless look I would have done my Amazing Cosmetics Concealer. But today, I decided to go with a little more of a natural look. I actually have a dentist appointment later today, so I figured maybe I shouldn't go too fixed up to the dentist. So really just, this brush is great because it buffs it um, onto your skin, but it does not buff it into your skin. Okay. And just take a wipe or whatever works best for you and wipe that off. And anytime you have a, a liquid foundation, you want to set with powder. So I'm going to use the HD High Definition Powder. It's a micro finish powder. It's very lightweight, so you want to put it on a certain way. So today I'm going to be using the Precision Natural Powder Brush, also from the IT Collection at Sephora, and it's number 121. Okay, and you want to just pat it and kind of twirl it. Uh, it's a common misconception with most people that you just fluff it all over your face. That's actually not what you want to do. You want to kind of really set it into your skin, and then you can just kind of blend it out. Okay, so we've set that. Now is our blush, and I'm going to be using the Bare Minerals blush in Flirt. It's actually a new color they just came out with. It's in one of their kits. Oops. 
Oops, I gotta find my blush brush. Hold on, guys. There it is. Now, this one doesn't really have a name. Uh, it's just in a huge brush kit I got at Sephora. Um, but it's just a nice blush brush. Give me a little color on my cheeks. Alright, so that's that. And then also, I'm not going to show you how to do this, but this is the Sephora collection. It's a highlighter. It's in rose pink. And you just apply it just above your blush on the apples of the cheek. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to prime our eyes. I'm going to use the Urban Decay Primer Potion in the color Sin. So really just take a small little pin drop size and rub it all over your lid up to your brow bone. Okay, so now that we've primed our eyes, you see it's got kind of a shimmer. I'm trying to show you, but it's hard to see. Next thing we're going to use is the Golden Retriever. It's by Buxom. It's their cream shadow, and it's a 24-7 stay on shadow. Now, if you guys have ever purchased the Naked Palette, it's the Urban Decay Shadow. It's the small, rounded shadow brush. Um, so I'm going to use that. And again, I'm going to look off kind of to the distance. Okay, so put it all over the base of your eye. All right, and that's how you have it. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys try it, and I'm going to pause this and do my other eye. Okay, so you see that I've gotten that whole step done. I'm going to close that door. Okay, so you see I've gotten the first step done. The next step is going to be I'm going to grab my medium all-over brush. Grab that at Sephora. This is the one I got in a holiday kit. That, that's why it's red. It says, I love Sephora. If I can get it to turn right. Anyways, so then I'm going to take the um, Urban Decay Shadow. Looks like this right here. And get it open. It's a nice gold shimmery color. And it's called Honey. I'm going to get my all over brush there. I don't get too much on. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to do it just to the middle of my eye. Okay. Alright, so again, I'm going to let you guys try that next step and I'm going to do my other. Okay, so now you can see for this next step, after you've taken the gold from the inner corner of your eye and worked it to the middle, you're going to do what I did on this eye here. I took the Smashbox Midnight Brown um, Cream Liner, and I took my small smudger brush here. Um, this is also in the non-holiday kit. It's going to be a black, so... And I just took it, and you just start from the outside, kind of pull your eye in as well, and work it onto the top. Okay. Uh oh, I got a little messed up there. There we go. And so I just, you know, this just goes for a light little liner. This isn't exactly the darkest liner, um, but it's really good for a fall brown, because because uh, fall is all about browns and coppers and orange kind of orange tints and whatnot so I did that lined my eyes with that brown cream liner and then the next thing I'm going to do is take my all over brush and I'm going to highlight my eyes All right. okay guys so that's the end of my tutorial I'm going to finish this off here and put a nice pink gloss this is by Grillon and the color is 822. I love it. If you guys have any questions or requests for another type of video, just leave me a comment, leave me a message, and I will definitely do what I can for you guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any and like I said, if you have any questions about the products that I use, feel free to ask me. Alright, thanks for watching my channel, guys. Enjoy.